How's it going, y'all? Mystique Bike R6. Uh, it's finally turned cold here in Alabama, and we have our Gulf Coast Motocross Series starting up next weekend. And I'm nowhere near prepared. So uh, I'm just gonna run over a few things. Uh, a couple of people at a bike night asked me about how my bike's set up. So I'm gonna go over some of the parts that I got on it and uh, you know, kind of give a couple people a few ideas and I've never really did a rundown of the dirt bike. So here we go. All right, so first up, I got my, uh, my pit crew and mechanic out here helping me. Simon, yeah. say hey. <laughs> Anyways, so the bike that I race, I have a 2014 Kawasaki KX450F, uh, the fuel injected kind, and honestly there's not a whole bunch done to this bike as far as performance. Uh, most of it's just stuff to kind of help me control the bike a little better and uh, to make me look good. So, like most things... We'll just start off at the front. Right now I have the Dunlop MX-52s on it. I'm gonna be switching to the, I believe the MX-33s. A little better for loose terrain. Got the Serbies plastics on it and factory backing graphics. Uh, stock suspension, though you'll notice these little things for carrying on trailers and stuff yes they don't look like much they're not super thick but canyon dancers make these they will hold your bike amazingly and you don't have to worry about scratching up the bars any but uh stock suspension stock front brakes uh going up i got the vortex mx bars I believe it's just their MX bend. I haven't got the fat bars yet. Yes, I have a crazy kid. So other than that, of course, like I said, stock front brakes. I do have these Intel levers on it. These things right here, they're kind of dirty, but they have saved me a whole bunch of money because you can literally bend them. So if you go down, stuff gets like that and pop them back in place they do it 360 degrees and it's freaking awesome uh another thing and i swore by these i bought a set of these when they had just the original emig grips and i will never ever go back to a traditional grip these are the odi and these are the emig uh pros they are lock on grips so no grip glue comes with its own tube Let's see if I can get a good shot and there's a screw right there you just tighten up for that one the throttle side actually comes with a brand new throttle tube with each pair of grips it is freaking awesome uh let's see moving on like I said I got factory backing graphics uh first off big shout out to Mototech for helping me with the hard parts on this stuff for this season uh they're it's gonna be a a good thing to have a local shop on my side this time because i tend to go through fork seals being a heavier guy but let's see so oh somebody pointed out this the other day if you notice that doesn't look like the one that comes on there so i'm cheap because i'm poor <laughs> and i have two kx450s the only thing is this one's a supermoto but it is the same exact as that bike now my supermoto came with all the couplers my dirt bike since i bought it second hand were a amazing deal it did not it just came with the green so i actually rewired both the couplers to have the little more aggressive coupler for it so uh i had a guy ask me he's like oh man is that something custom yes and no i mean i repinned it rewired it but it's the stock kawasaki stuff so yay electronics other than that 
of you know running stock triple clamps stock bar risers uh i have the pro circuit ti 4r exhaust which i got from pro circuit who also is helping me out with parts they are amazing with their support their insight and their setups and i was able to get this exhaust from them for a really good price other than that i don't have the cover on it but this does have a henson forge clutch basket and it makes this bike spin up so much faster freaking love it uh let's see a little something a little poor person something i did also i sharpened up the foot pegs because i was slipping because i don't have the best boots in the world but uh sharpen those up so i'm able to get a little more grip going up from that like i said i still have the stock shock it's been rebuilt and you can't really see it but i'm running just the twin air drop-in air filter let's see what else uh oh genetics dispensary so cool thing about these guys one they're owned by a classmate of mine and a uh also a veteran that me and him went out of high school joined the army ended up both in the same place uh, in fort bragg for a little bit and ended up going to afghanistan i think pretty close to the same time but they do the cbd product so <laughs> my little buddy getting a little cold he said his hands are cold so me and him both have well i have a little bit of an injury i don't know if he had any injuries from the army or not but almost any, anybody that spends at least one contract in the military usually comes out with some soreness and stuff and i'm no different i actually let the army cut on me which ended up causing me a pretty good bit of nerve damage in my legs so it it makes it hard to deal with sometimes this i found no medicine out there that actually helps without serious side effects and i don't like that i don't like medication i'm not one of those hey let's pop a pill for everything so i was really skeptical about this cbd stuff and he came and told me, he's like, look, man, just give it a try. This is like the real stuff. This isn't the gas station CBD. Anybody that's using the gas station CBD, stop. It sucks. You won't get the right results, and you have a possibility of hurting yourself. Go somewhere like this. They have all the information you need about it. They're very well educated, and they actually have a site if you want to order stuff and get it shipped. Like I said, let's see name's genetics dispensary so just add a dot com on the end of that they're on facebook they're on instagram uh give them a shout tell them nathan beasley sent you and they'll take care of you and any kind of questions you have they will definitely help so a little plug for them i'm hoping 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 this week to get out to them and try and pick them up as a sponsor as well going back from that i've already mentioned the exhaust and the tires the dunlop mx 52s dunlop was nice enough to pick me up as well uh you can see my nice pretty swing arm decal vortex ek Hello. chain Hello. me and vortex <laughs> go back a long ways um, since around 09 when i started getting into sport bikes and trying to do track days uh picked them up as a sponsor then and they've been with me up until now and they were nice enough to re-sign me again for this season 2020 their products are amazing i will never ever run another sprocket and another type of chain except for them their customer support's amazing their products are amazing and they stand behind them and they have a lot more than just chain and sprockets so give them a look 
you definitely won't dis be disappointed with them but that is pretty much it i do run vp fuel sometimes i do about a half and half mix of mr12 and pump gas when i have it, it gives a nice little pop but so that's that's my bike not the best in the world not the prettiest but it does what i need to once again give a shout out to moto tech racing they are amazing I serve these plastics dunlop tires itg motorsports that's me uh little thing behind that uh, there's a facebook page itg motorsports a lot of people ask it stands for in the garage motorsports that's where it all started and that's where yep yeah. sorry squirrel that's where most of my maintenance goes down and that's where me and my friends do it you know in the garage that and it's a community that will help people like us you know you have questions you have advice looking to sell something that's i mean Hi, sell it in the garage <laughs> itg Hi, motorsports uh Hi, the family that i have with that has Hi, always been behind all right so itg motorsports pro circuit racing like i said always good advice with suspension engine exhaust literally anything you need factory backing did the graphics kit on this pretty decent price give them a look up online on instagram they always have good deals going and you can it's just like everything else you can customize your stuff cycle gear racing that's another sponsor i just picked up recently local cycle gear here has been kind enough to let me run their decals and give me a little bit of help uh for this season riding for them so that ought to be fun too odi awesome grips awesome 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 grips then they make grips for everything from sport bikes to mx bikes to bmx bikes bars same everything twin air filters uh also you know helping me out with parts awesome big thanks to them and i believe that's it i wish i could get henson i don't think they run a amateur uh support like a athlete support but i might reach out and of course vortex ek chains have been with me thank you guys so much for helping me out with all the bikes y'all have been a blessing from day one because these things run through some chains like i said it finally got cold here in alabama it's starting to get dark just wanted to go ahead and put this out i'm gonna try and be doing videos like this all throughout the race series and i'm gonna try and interview at least one to two people from different riding groups all the way from his size to my size to open pro riders people that's held ama pro licenses stuff like that uh the older gentlemen that usually make us young guys look slow i'm gonna try and put together a little video with that and see what i can do but until next time y'all stay safe have fun grip it and rip it do all those cool things and i'll see you next time thank you